So I've watched the politicians. I've dealt with them all my life. If you can't make a good deal with a politician, then there's something wrong with you. You're certainly not very good. And that's what we have representing us. They will never make America great again. They don't even have a chance. They're controlled fully. They're controlled fully by the lobbyists, by the donors, and by the special interests, fully. That's, they control them. Hey, I have lobbyists, I have to tell you. I have lobbyists that can produce anything for me. They're great. But you know what? It won't happen. It won't happen. Because we have to stop doing things for some people, but for this country, it's destroying our country. We have to stop, and it has to stop now. Now, our country needs, our country needs a truly great leader. And we need a truly great leader now. We need a leader that wrote the art of the deal. We need a leader that can bring back our jobs, can bring back our manufacturing, can bring back our military, can take care of our vets. Our vets have been abandoned. And we also need a cheerleader. You know, when President Obama was elected, I said, well, the one thing I think he'll do well, I think he'll be a great cheerleader for the country. I think he'd be a great spirit. He was vibrant. He was young. I really thought that he would be a great cheerleader. He's not a leader. That's true. You're right about that. But he wasn't a cheerleader. He's actually a negative force. He's been a negative force. He wasn't a cheerleader. He was the opposite. We need somebody that can take the brand of the United States and make it great again. It's not great again. We need, we need somebody We need somebody that literally will take this country and make it great again. We can do that. And I will tell you, I love my life. I have a wonderful family. They're saying, Dad, you're going to do something that's going to be so tough. You know, all of my life I've heard that a truly successful person, a really, really successful person, and even modestly successful, cannot run for public office. Just can't happen. And yet, that's the kind of mindset that you need to make this country great again. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again.